Welcome to Deep Dive Defense, military and aerospace enthusiasts. Over here we give rare insights you won't hear elsewhere. Today's video takes a look at a secret asset whose true name remains unknown, but which is designated RA-01 by United States military intelligence. This large drone served as a critical enabler for the initial success against Iran's air defenses during the 12-day conflict between the two countries. It is a unique drone that provides Israel with a key capability, possessed by very few other nations globally. This ghostly asset has vast range performance and takes long routes to circumvent potential means of detection by the adversary. It positions itself at a suitable launch station to deploy its next-generation miniature standoff cruise missiles and potentially other weapons such as one-way attack drones. The miniature cruise missiles feature very low radar cross-sections and very low thermal signatures. With estimated ranges of 300 to 500 kilometers, these weapons enable the RA-01 drone to remain at a secure distance, operating somewhere within the vast expanses of oceans and remote deserts. Upon release from this weapon carrier drone, the cruise missiles not only utilize their low radar and infrared signatures to reach the target, but also employ terrain masking. They fly at very low altitudes preferably trying to navigating through valleys where they can cruise outside the line of sight of ground-based air defense systems. Adding to these extraordinary weapon system features is a final capability, intelligence-driven situational awareness regarding the positions of adversary threat systems capable of intercepting the miniature cruise missiles. For this feature, the RA-01 utilizes United States-supplied electronic battle space maps. These maps are generated by space-based electronic intelligence satellite constellations, combined with synthetic aperture radar and optical satellites. This combination pinpoints detected radio emissions to locate the specific systems emitting the electromagnetic waves. Software then calculates the performance envelope of the identified threat system and determines the safe standoff distance the miniature stealth cruise missile must maintain relative to that threat to arrive intact at the target. However, that description is far from encompassing all that makes the RA-01 strike drone so uniquely special and powerful. The drone's relatively large size and suspected flying wing configuration contribute not only to its aforementioned vast range performance of thousands of kilometers, but also provide it with a significant payload capacity. Its internal weapons bay is suspected to house a two-digit quantity of its stealth miniature cruise missiles and one-way attack drones. These attack drones and their silent, low-infrared signature electric motor propulsion are believed to be another highly difficult to detect payload option of the RA-01. Consequently, this drone also delivers substantial firepower through the quantity of munitions it carries. Hence, the RA-01 possesses the unique capability to execute saturation attacks. It launches a high quantity of miniature cruise missiles near simultaneously to overwhelm the terminal phase air defense systems, protecting an adversary high-value object. This is an example for a highly sophisticated next-generation kill chain, which is difficult to comprehend. So at this point, summarizing and repeating the distinct features of the RA-01 drone is necessary to illustrate why it constitutes such a potent asset for the Israeli military. The drone itself consistently maintains a secure distance and flies extended routes to circumvent any threats, maneuvering itself to its designated launch station. To achieve this, the drone employs its low radar cross-section and low infrared signature flying wing design, which further complicates standoff detection by adversary sensors. Upon reaching the launch station, it simultaneously launches a large quantity of miniature cruise missiles, possessing considerable range. This range maintains the critically important safety distance between the launch point and the adversary's airspace. These miniature cruise missiles subsequently fly at very low altitude, utilizing their inherently small size, combined with stealth shaping and small jet propulsion system to minimize detectable signature. The mini jet propulsion's small size and low thrust generates a correspondingly low infrared signature. They advantageously navigate inside valleys within the adversary's terrain, thereby remaining outside the line of sight of longer-range defensive systems. Such defenses are primarily ground-based air defenses, but also include airborne assets. The specific flight paths through these valleys are precisely selected. 
This careful selection ensures no adversary air defense system is positioned sufficiently close to detect and neutralize the miniature cruise missile. This precision in turn is enabled by the US provided electronic battle space maps. Furthermore, the targeted adversary object is not attacked by merely a single miniature cruise missile, but by several. This multiple missile approach deliberately stresses the feasible engagement cycles those defensive systems are capable of performing. This represents a classic example of a saturation strike strategy. So, let us now examine the RA-01 drone itself more closely. This design, believed to have originated in the late 1990s and developed throughout much of the 2000s, represents Israel's first large drone program beside the Heron TP ATAN. It was pursued for several distinct roles, even including airborne ballistic missile defense applications. The initial research focused on a jet-powered drone intended for development and construction with United States assistance and support. The drone's initial, more conventional design layouts were subsequently changed towards a flying wing configuration. This configuration is not unlike that of the United States RQ-170 drone from that period. It is believed that from the early 2010s onward, the designers concluded the required range and payload performance could not be well achieved with jet propulsion. Specifically, not even a fuel-efficient turbofan engine could meet those kinematic requirements. Hence, it is believed the RA-01 took its final form following the decision to create a flying wing drone utilizing turboprop propulsion. This configuration sacrifices speed to achieve significantly increased range and payload capacity. The observed plan form of the RA-01 is very similar to the Lockheed Skunk Works RQ-180 and it's well possible that it was secretly developed by Lockheed as an intermediate step towards the also secretive, more advanced RQ-180. Tactically, the RA-01 turboprop propulsion choice means each strike cycle against a distant adversary would take considerably longer, resulting in decreased sustained firepower projected. However, in exchange, the drone can fly much more secure, circumventing routes and carry a substantially larger quantity of standoff munitions. This increased weapons quantity enhances the likelihood of successful penetration against highly defended targets. This fundamental trade-off is not unlike the one Iran made when switching from the jet-powered Shahed-191 strike drone to the refined propeller-driven Shahed-197 variant. While these Iranian design drones also employ flying wing configurations for improved kinematics and reduced signatures, they are fundamentally smaller and are designed to be expendable when compared to the significantly larger and rarer RA-01. What was observed in the alleged videos of the RA-01 is clearly a very different planform to the Shahed flying wing drone family, based on the RQ-170 planform. Public awareness of the Israeli drone, designated RA-01, emerged solely due to a leak by Pentagon intelligence briefings. This leak described a large, unmanned, long-endurance asset conducting missions throughout the region. While its specialized hangars had previously been detected at an Israeli airbase, the specific aircraft those hangars housed remained unknown prior to the U.S. intelligence leak. Then, shortly after that disclosure, the RA-01 was operationally deployed to attack Iran in a retaliation operation occurring in late October 2024. It was on that day that the first public footage of this drone is believed to have appeared on the internet, filmed off the coast of Lebanon. This footage revealed for the first time that this secretive drone possessed a flying wing design of considerable size. Then, in June 2025, during the 12-day conflict between Iran and Israel, footage of a propeller-driven flying wing drone appeared on the internet over Israel's skies. Initially, it was suspected to be an Iranian Shahed-197 drone. However, the significantly different planform of the flying wing suggested it represented a unique new design, not related to the RQ-170-derived Shahed flying wing drone variants, but more similar to the Lockheed RQ-180. It was at this point that the propeller propulsion system was confirmed. This confirmation demonstrated that the US and Israeli designers behind the drone selected a rather low-risk approach. This approach omitted complex turbofan engines and successfully achieved the aforementioned kinematic performance goals of long range and high payload capacity. 
Israel's RA-01 is not a weapon suited for all types of targets due to the small explosive power its miniature cruise missiles possess. It is suspected that Israel's Wind Demon miniature cruise missile, or something related to it, is the primary weapon carried by the mothership RA-01 drone. This cruise missile is a low-signature terrain-masking standoff weapon. It utilizes new-generation technologies to combine the features of expensive land-attack cruise missiles into a miniaturized, lower-cost solution. This solution enables the RA-01 to maintain a very secure distance from the adversary's airspace. Its downside is the mentioned low explosive power of the limited payload weapon. This means it is not effective against hardened targets, such as those housing Iran's high-priority assets. However, what it is effective against, in almost all cases, are adversary air defenses. These systems are inherently fragile due to the radar antennas and arrays they house, or due to the surface-to-air missiles which are easy to ignite. Hence, a key and primary role of the RA-01 is that of suppression and destruction of enemy air defenses, SEAD and DEAD. It is believed that this specific mission was the one assigned to Israel's fleet of RA-01 drones during the 12-day conflict. They attacked air defense systems detected by U.S. intelligence to cause a shock effect on Iran and its defenses. It is believed that especially its capability to fly undetected towards and over the Caspian Sea and launch its standoff weapons from there towards Iran's capital, Tehran, enabled a huge tactical exploit for the Israeli Air Force. This exploit was due to the psychological effects that targeting of the capital city had on Iran's population. While these missions could not affect Iran's underground and hardened assets, strikes on soft and highly visual targets like oil depots could cause a demoralizing effect on Iran's population and their sense of security. In conclusion, it must be stated that the immense tactical flexibility an unmanned long-range asset like the RA-01 enables for the Israeli Air Force is of greatest value for Israel's overall military capability. While this asset is prone to being targeted by a highly advanced ballistic missile power like Iran, just by destroying their hangars and airbase maintenance infrastructure, it remains a capability unique in the world. When supported by US ELINT satellites and the electronic battle space maps they enable, as well as US satellite communication constellations for over-horizon operations, this asset can unleash its full potential. This set of features and the sophisticated kill chain they enable is especially important for surprise attacks and during the initial phases of a high-tech conflict. So that's all for today. If you liked it, give a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. It really makes a difference in the YouTube algorithm and is a great support to the channel. The real enthusiast can become members and given access to exciting membership area material. Thanks for your support and motivation. See you next time.